you know that content is king and content is not going anywhere. And I want to make sure that you have content that attracts clients. So today I'm going to share with you content ideas that attract your idea clients. All right. Okay. Okay. CEO coaches, let's talk about these content ideas that will attract you some clients. Okay. I absolutely love content. Content was the foundation of my whole entire coaching business. It has, it really was the, the, I guess the tool to actually propel my business. I really didn't understand the power of content. I thought that I could just, you know, put up a quote or I can just post any kind of content, me eating or um, maybe a book or actually just selling content. I thought that that was going to attract my content. I mean, attract my clients. And it didn't. (laughs) It didn't until I figured out that there was a a method to the madness, right? And so today I'm going to share with you content ideas that actually attract your clients and really build the no like and trust factor. Okay. All right. So look, the first type of content that potential clients like is the before and after type of content. Y'all know, y'all seen those before and after photos of people who are fat. Now they're skinny. Uh, They uh, were really, really big and now they're skinny, skinny, skinny. And they share, they show you uh, photos of themselves um, uh, with, you know, inside of their bigger clothes and how much their weight, you know, how much they have lost, all those type of things where you can do the before and after concept in your coaching business. Maybe you're not a weight loss coach, but you're a relationship coach. And that could be uh, content of you being sad or maybe a photo of yourself before you were in a really good relationship or having a really good relationship with your husband and uh, after picture of you and your husband or you and your significant other together. That is a powerful, powerful visual for people to see that, okay, she's in the same spot as me. I'm sad. I'm a little depressed. Things are not going good in my relationship. But the after photo of me happy, hugging, kissing on my significant other is going to be super powerful. Well, maybe you don't have photos. You can tell the before and after in a written format, right? So you talk about your struggles before and you talk about the after when you implemented certain solutions into um, to helping you get the results that you want. So before and afters are great content topics that you can use to attract clients. OK, number two is going to be the lie versus the truth. OK, <laughs> the lie versus the truth. Now, this type of content gets people to perk up because they've probably heard certain lies like an example, you have to post on social media every single day if you want to get clients. Well, that's a lie. The truth is you have to post good content that people want to read and learn from and really is get inspired by so that they can take action. And you don't have to do that type of posting every single day. Okay, so that's a lie and that's a truth piece of content. Now, that lie and truth is really good in a video format. It's also great in a, if you can create some kind of infographic to talk about, here's the lie that most people say and here's the truth of it all, right? So lie and truth types of content actually perk up your potential client's interest because they know they've heard this one little lie. They really thought it was the truth, but it honestly is not the truth. And you sharing the truth is really going to position you as that expert in that potential client's mind. Okay. Number three is going to be relatable stories. Relatable stories really um, coincide with the before and after. But one of the things that I love to share when I'm doing videos or if I'm in a speaking opportunity is to tell my story. I tell my story and let people know that I've been where you are. I did not just wake up with a successful coaching business with a booked out solid uh, client book. I, I didn't, right? I had to go through the humps. I had to go through the struggles just like everybody else. And I share that story with people often to let them know that I am just like you. 
just like them. And you want to do that as well. You want to share relatable struggles of stories that shows that you have been there where they are and now you are over the hump, right? You are over the bridge and you want to share that with them. And then in that, in like, and sprinkle in the solutions that helped you get over that hump, okay? Very, very powerful when you share relatable stories, all right? Number four is going to be what not to do. What not to do. Now, sometimes I always think that the what not to do stories are like nan nanny boo boo kind of things, but I realize that people want to know, like, hey, am I doing this wrong? Am I is there a better way to do this? So when you tell people what not to do, but also follow up with what they should do or could do or can do, then that's going to be powerful. You don't want to be the person who's always pinpointing people's mistakes without giving them solutions. Y'all know those people who always have advice and they want to tell you what you're doing wrong, but then they don't have any a solution on how to make it better. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So you don't want to be one of those type of people. You want to be able to tell them what they're doing wrong, but also tell them what they can do to fix it and do it the right way, all right? The last type of content that actually attracts your paying clients, ideal clients, clients that you absolutely love working with is going to be products, your go-to products and tools that you absolutely love. Now you're saying, hey, Liz, who really wants to know about my tools? (laughs) Y'all, one of my freebies uh, when I first started my coaching business was all of my resource tools. And it was one of the most popular downloads that I, um, that people opted in to get because I shared with them all of my tools. I still have that as a a link in my, um, my bio link in my Instagram. Uh, You can click on it and you'll see all the resources that I use. It is still the most clicked button on my link tree. Okay. Or my, I don't have a link tree, but I have a, y'all know what, a link in the bio kind of page, right? Um, It is still the most popular because people want to know the tools that I'm using because I used to get DMs all the time about, okay, how are you creating this video? What are you using? I saw you create this awesome graphic. What did you do? So Instead of me just always like responding in the DMs, I created a resource list, my go-to products that I use to build my coaching business. Super powerful, right? So those are five different content ideas that you can use to attract your ideal client. All right, you guys have an awesome and blessed day and I'll be talking to you later. Peace out.